Yesterday I talked about how a two stroke works. Now here's the four stroke. In a two stroke, there's a lot of things happening all at once. With a four stroke, it's a lot more compartmentalized. This valve opens and allows air and fuel into the combustion chamber as the piston is coming down. That's what's sucking it in. Then when the piston reaches roughly bottom dead center, the intake valve closes and the piston comes up, compressing those gases. Then the spark plug fires, pushing the piston back down. After the piston is at bottom dead center, the exhaust valve opens, the piston comes back up, these gases have nowhere to go except out the exhaust valve. This is known as suck, squeeze, bang, and blow. Four strokes per cycle. One of the big advantages with a four stroke is that you can really compartmentalize the intake versus the exhaust. You can adjust cam timing, both lift and duration of the valves, and that really can make a huge difference on the performance of the engine. In theory, you can get a broader range of power with this design because you have so many more parts to tune. However, there are so many more parts involved that it's much more expensive to maintain. You've got valves, piston, cylinder, crankshaft, oil pump, cams, timing chain. It's a big complicated mess. Not to mention on a two stroke, if you want to modify it, you can do so pretty easily. On a four stroke, you can really tune in what you want but it's quite expensive because usually you have to change parts. Another big advantage that most people don't think about on a four stroke is you can get more RPM and more power at higher RPM because you can really control those intake and exhaust gases. Highly tunable, highly tractable, but very expensive.